99X, it's Barnes and Leslie Celebrity Sleaze is coming up in just a few minutes. Also, a someone you should know in about 30 seconds. And listen, if you ever miss Celebrity Sleaze, you know you can find it because you do want to know the latest Sleaze. We have a Morning X podcast. Everything we do on the show, you can follow and listen anytime, wherever you get your podcasts. Because I know sometimes you need your Sleaze. So there you go. Morning X podcast. All right. Someone you should know I'd like to introduce you to. And his name is Rory Hawkins. But... You might not know him by his name. You might know him by Catlanta. He's an artist. Oh, Catlanta. Yeah, he's got these colorful, very fun paintings of cats. He's born in New Orleans, lifelong resident, though, of Metro Atlanta. And I hear a big 99X fan. Is that right, Rory? Oh, yeah. Former, uh, or I guess, all-time lifetime freeloader, right? Oh, yeah. Once you're a freeloader, you're a freeloader. (laughs) Well, welcome okay. to the show. We want to turn people on to your art because it really is beautiful stuff. We have so much to inf- unfold here. But first, I want to ask you, because I love what you're doing with the scavenger hunts. First, I want to ask you, though, why cats? What was your inspiration? Um, well, at the time, so I went to Georgia State University. And when I was there, I was an art student. But, you know, during the classes that weren't art, I oftentimes did a lot of doodling in my you know notebooks and whatnot. And uh, I was working at Paws Atlanta at the time and was a... Uh, in charge of a lot of the kitten room and stuff like that. So cats surrounded me all the time. I had two cats at the time and, uh, you know, just started doodling those in my sketchbooks and people noticed them when, you know, looking over my shoulder and told me how cute they were. So just kind of went with them from there. Well, I'm with you on that because I'm, I'm a cat guy. I mean, I love cats. Okay. I have two Barnes cats. is a cat guy. Now I know what to get you for your birthday, Barnes. Oh, totally. Lucian and Winnie. <laughs> they're, they're my two cats. They run the house. But you're known for these three-legged cats that you're painting with dots for eyes and hearts on their chests like how are you picking these places around town where you're painting these um well i like to really highlight uh the places that make atlanta unique and the people in the events that make atlanta unique so uh you know i've been here all my life but there's still neighborhoods and there's still people and things that i'm discovering you know to this day so uh i like to take cats and with the scavenger hunt I'm able to leave them different places so I try to find places that maybe are a little off the beaten path or you know that people may have missed you know not just the belt line but you know places around town and whatnot. You went from painting on I guess underpasses and abandoned buildings to now doing the scavenger hunt so tell people how that works because apparently you've done over a thousand pieces of art with this photo scavenger hunt. Yeah what does how do you how does it work? One yeah um, well, so there's a whole f- a movement called Free Art Friday that actually started in England with an artist named My Dog Size, which is dogs and cats. But uh, he basically started leaving work out on Fridays, and it's since become like a global movement where people do it all over the place. But essentially what I do is I'll go out, and it's not just on Fridays now, but I'll go out, I'll leave a cat, I'll take a picture of it, and then I share it uh, on my various social media channels, and then basically invite whoever is quickest to go out and find it. And they usually go within the, you know, like five or ten minutes, honestly. Wow. It's pretty quick. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I am always think that it's going to be, you know, uh, that it's going to take a while, but people people always show up. We're talking to someone you should know, Cat Lana, whose name is Rory Hawkins. He's the guy that paints, if you've seen him around town, these three-legged cats all over and then now you're doing these scavenger hunts where it's on is it on canvas um i do everything on wood actually on wood okay so they're on all wood. like little wood cutouts yeah when you were doing the art on you know underpasses or different areas of town did you ever have a problem with people thinking you were a vandal or any issues with police oh definitely yeah i mean that kind of pushed me into doing more of the non-destructive cats i mean i always kind of stuck to you know Again, like the underpasses and walls. I never really went on people's private property. Right. But there were definitely some neighborhood groups that weren't weren't too pleased with the cats. So They're, they're dog people. They're... Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I collect a lot of folk art, so I love what you're doing. It looks cool. It really does look exactly. cool. Now, can people buy your art? Do you have a website where people could actually go in and purchase it? Currently, all my work that I have available is, is up at the show at the moment. But uh, I do have a website, catlana.net that uh, from time to time I'll do, you know, releases of prints and uh, paintings and stuff like that. And we'll mention your show here in just a minute so people can come see it. Do you take requests or commissions from people to paint their cats? Uh, I have done that from time to time. Whenever I have time, um, I will do that. And I've done a few people's cats over the years. Yeah, I just wondered if that was a moneymaker for you. Because, you know, 
cat people are crazy. I don't know if you know from one cat lover to another. <laughs> I mean, yes, for sure. there's no expense that would stop, you know, whoever cat person from getting their cats painted by you. I would think. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I wish I had time to do them all, but uh, yeah, when I have the time, I do try and do a f- take a few requests. Well, congrats because you have such a big following on this new exhibit. Is this your very first exhibit at ABV Gallery? Um, this is my first solo exhibition at ABV Gallery. I've worked with ABV for over a decade now and done quite a few group shows with them, but this is the first one that it's just me. Yeah, this is running right now through April 20th at ABV Gallery, 659 Auburn Avenue, number 504 in Atlanta. What all is there? Your whole workup? Like, how big is this exhibition? Um, it's got about, like, 15 to 20 pieces or so, uh, depending on how you count them. But uh, I tried to do a whole mix of stuff. There's, uh, like, installations. There's straight paintings. There's a few cats. There's a few cats or objects made to look like cats. Um, so it's I kind of run the whole whole gamut of uh, cat-related artwork with this one. What do you think has led to your cult following? Because you do have such a big social following. Do you think it's that, that special sauce of cats on the Internet that just started it? I think that's definitely what started it. And then I think, you know, I think there's just a lot of enthusiasm for the city. And I think people really enjoy uh, going out and trying to find something. And, you know, when you find it, being able to claim it and, uh, you know, cheer yourself on. I, some people have been hunting for years and they still haven't found one. So I think it's just that, that uh, you know, urge to be the first one there. Yeah, it's beautiful work. Yeah, you've made it so interactive. Scavenger hunts are fun, but uh, I think as adults, we don't oftentimes get a lot of times to play. So I think this gives people the uh, opportunity and invitation to play. And uh, I think that's what draws people in a lot. Barnes, I think you need to hit up Kitty City. That is the name of the solo exhibition by Catlana. Oh, I'm in. You need to be there, Barnes. Absolutely, I'm in. I will definitely. (laughs) We have a few days to get to it. So, all right. It was great to meet you, Rory Hawkins. And you want to give us a little heads up? Where's your next scavenger hunt, bro? (laughs) We'll see. I I have a feeling there'll be a few around the the, uh, run of the show. So, uh, yeah, I would expect maybe maybe some on closing day, too, the 20th. All right. Good hint. Someone you should know, Catlana, a.k.a. Rory Hawkins. You can see... The exhibition Kitty City going on now by Catlana. It's going to go on through the 20th. That is over at ABV Gallery on Auburn Avenue. Catlana, great to meet you, Rory. Nice to meet you all as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the Morning X. It's 99X.